now how do you create a user basically so you have an inst a, a ec2 instance which is accessible through putty or terminal window right yes okay through terminal window okay so no. how would what we create apart, was... apart from using aws management console how do you get into an instance uh, to a to a unix box instance because lo there are a lot of things yes. which you would not be able to do it from gui and you might need to log in from back end to get things done yeah okay so right now we have one windows uh, instance uh, what we thought was in the next class we would be creating one linux instance because you said you want to have a hybrid uh, a heterogeneous environment where we can connect can we create and a do things right away yeah yeah sure uh, another thing you mentioned was on the existing instance on this microsoft one you wanted to create an s3 storage as well so, i wanted to create yeah. no please you wanted you said that we will create sorry sorry i didn't get you uh, tell me so you mentioned that in the next class uh, we would be creating one s3 storage within that uh, windows instance or any other instance so do you want to do that as well now yeah okay let's go ahead with uh, creating a s3 storage first okay so i have opened this up so this is the instance uh, that windows instance mm -hmm. Okay. Three okay. storage EC two. You can create an S three storage from AWS Management Console. So, but for that instance, we want to create. We have a bucket created already, right? we deleted that bucket as well the whole idea is so we created a bucket the whole idea is yeah. that once a bu the bucket is first created and is then mounted into a uh, ec2 instance yeah let's create so a then we should be let's create a bucket then yeah is we have a windows system and mount command does not work on windows system hmm okay so in windows how do they do that then using nfs okay anyhow you have to use a, a tool called fuse s3 fuse okay which you need to install Okay, I'll do that then. Okay, we have created a bucket. So So uh, should we load uh, upload any files over there or should just keep it as empty bucket for now? Keep it empty. First, we need to have the storage key. Yeah. So we, uh, which tool did you mention? Fuse. Is it Fuse? F U S E. Yeah. That's an Amazon tool itself. First, we have to create a Linux instance, right? Yes. So, shall I? Hopefully, we'll keep the volume. Yeah. So let's see. So, so the second one is free, and the first one is also free. But first one is Amazon Linux. We want a Red Hat Linux, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go with Red Hat Linux. So in this, when we select a subnet, uh, 
So do we have, should we always keep it as default or is it good to create our own subnet and every time when we create an instance, we put that on the same subnet? It's logical to have a own say, subnet and put put the instances on that subnet. So we have to create a new subnet. So I'm putting one on the region that they have. So. So is there a way of creating how what should be the CID or block for it? So right now what I'm saying is it should be in the range. It should specify the range of IP address example in the subnet the range of it overlaps as a pre existing this from the subnet this. Mm -hmm. Zero to twenty, nine to twenty. Okay, so that is free PC. Oh, what was that? The VPC ID which I can see over here. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's the previous one or it's a new one? So I think it should. It's a new one. So if 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 I cancel it and say create subnets. So you see that it's 31.0.16 the yeah. so VPC ID. I got that. So this is the same uh, which is already there in this three uh, three in the list of three. So if you see the VPC ID is same. I got that. I got that. So you have the CID on 32.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
with a, a, any other inst new instance. Ah, uh, so if you make it dedicated, it will not be shared. Yeah, so, so you can try to do. Is it created? Great. So what, yeah. what is the range? It is 192.0.0.0.216. Okay. Let's try to create a subnet here. No, you cannot create a subnet from here. Yeah. Now, let's create a subnet. Let's see what do we have. So, do we have... Yes. Am I able to see it? Yes, I can see it. Mm -hmm. You can see it? Yeah. Um, so VPC here, I can see as mine, so I'm selecting that. Yes, yes. Give you a C idea. So, okay, did it mean? Okay, so if I give the same one, it's creating now. So that means you have to start from the one which you have created and then progressively increase it. Then progress. Yeah, but does 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 that mean that we cannot use anything randomly between between that? So it, it anyway, so it does not mean that. I would not say that. Yeah. But then eventually okay. I don't know what Okay. So here if I go to the properties, uh, so summary I can see as a uh, subnet C ID are available, route table network. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we are not going to use route table for now. No. So it's okay. So now we can create an instance and then we'll create one uh, connecting to the subnet. Yes. 